What's going on guys, my name is Scalibur and today I welcome you back to my creative world here to show you guys SCDT version 1.6. This has been released on the 20th of May. I'm not sure why that's important, it's really not, but anyway, <laughs> moving on. So the first thing I want to show you today is some of the sounds that have been changed. I did say last episode that I would be doing some work on sound packs. I haven't done as much as I expected I would have done because I've actually, in, in changing sounds, I've, I've come to like a lot of the new sounds. <laughs> but uh, I did go ahead and change some of the records here, as you guys will see in just a second. These two discs are the default discs. I'm trying, I'm trying to explain um, why I'm using them, by the way, as well. So these two discs are the default discs, as you guys know. You can find them in dungeon chests uh, and also get them from creepers. They are the two most common discs you can get in this game. And honestly, they're quite dull, a bit boring, so I've gone ahead and changed them up a bit. This one, usually known as record number 13, has now been changed to area math. As you guys will hear. This is one of the original Minecraft sounds, and I've just replaced it with an updated sound from the beta sound pack. Uh, of Minecraft from C418 himself. This one's called Area Math, as you guys can see there, and it's just a great part of the Minecraft soundtrack that isn't appreciated by the game, unfortunately. But now it is! So there you go! That's more just for my enjoyment than anything else, but you guys can have Area Math now on uh, on on vinyl. <laughs> If you really want it, you're a true hipster, you have Minecraft music on vinyl, oh my god. Uh, moving on, we have Cat, also known as Dog, as you can see by the name of it there. Uh, and basically the idea behind this is, um, Cat's quite boring, it's one of the most simple soundtracks uh, in Minecraft. Once again, in the beta release of the Minecraft sound pack, uh, there was an updated version of Cat called Dog, and it's just Cat, but with loads more stuff in it, so I'll play it now. And yeah, it's, it's literally just an improved version of the original soundtrack for Minecraft, and I really like it. Enough of that. So yeah, that's Dog. That's basically an updated version of the original CD called Cat. So, yeah. Moving on, we have the more um, abstract one that I like to think of. This one is called Sweden. Sweden is obviously uh, a music track that you can get in Minecraft. And yeah, this is an, an, an interesting one, because all the music in this game is made by a guy called C418. He's a great music producer. I love all of his music. Uh, but basically, he made a song called Sweden. It goes like this. And yeah, when Minecraft was first released with sound, this was like the background music. Obviously, there was the big sound update where it plays different music depending on your situation, you know, the realm that you're currently in, whether you're playing in creative mode survival. This was the original Minecraft soundtrack. Like, this was it. You would just be walking around your world listening to this. And it's... It's actually really nostalgic. Like... Oh my god. <laughs> ah, it's good. Enough of that. I'll listen to that in my own time, because it's a good song. Uh, moving on from that, we have the music disc called Eleven, which is the one that no one likes because it's broken. And I saw this as an opportunity to take advantage of a remix. Think about it. If you got... Sweden, which is the black record disc like that, just a perfectly clean black record, and you broke it, it would look something like that, correct? Because that's just a black record that's been all mangled up. So what I did was I found a remix online by Caution and Crisis of the original Minecraft song Sweden, and put it on a disc. Just like that. So yeah, this thing is a remix of the original Minecraft soundtrack, and it just it's just a much better version of what I've just showed you. So I'm going to leave that playing for a bit, actually, whilst I'm talking to you some of the next things. So, that was the sound for today's episode, and we had... You know, I'm going to just leave the Sweden uh, remix on now, because <laughs> it's a good song. Here we have a panel made entirely of stone brick. I kid you not, this is all stone brick. Look, stone brick, stone brick, stone brick, stone brick. It's all still stone brick. I'm middle-clicking right now. Stone brick all around. It's all stone brick. And yet, we see these blocks right here with bits of moss and bits of cracks and chips on them and stuff. And the reason for that is because I have recently discovered a mechanic quite new to Optifine called Random Block Textures. Here it goes. Such a good song. <laughs> it really is. Uh, and yeah, Random Block Textures, there you go. Moving on from that, we then have ores, which use the exact same concept. As you can see here, we have coal with slightly less and less coal as it gets more random, which you can see there. This exact trend follows through with iron, gold, redstone, and diamond, uh, and it's just changed a little bit with lapis and emerald, as you can see there. So we have the original lapis texture, and it starts to lose more and more lapis in occasional blocks, and this is a 1 in 3 chance of, um, of lapis spawning with this texture, by the way. Same thing for emerald, it's just random gem placements, as opposed to the original emerald texture, which is here. We've got this one, 
uh, and where's the other one? There's another one as well. Just it, just with different amounts of gems in different places each time, and it makes for a more natural, more random, chaotic-looking texture, which I personally quite like. So yeah, dungeons also have the same treasure change as well, as you can see here, with the tiny cracks covering the uh, the spawner cage. You can see there little, little cracks on random sides. I could just have these cracks on every side, and it would look fine, but it just adds a little more element of uh, of naturalism. Nat is that the right word? Naturalism. Makes it seem more realistic. I mean, there wouldn't be an exact crack on each side, would there? <laughs> It'd be different on each side, because it's more chaotic than that. Life isn't perfect. Life is chaotic. Now we're going really deep. I'm not going to go really deep. Yeah. 